You may not associate lung cancer with women, but every five minutes in the U.S., a woman is diagnosed with the disease. So what are the risks? Why is it so prevalent? Tonight on ABC 27, we have a special call-in show, Lung Cancer, A Matter of Facts. Here to preview the show, we have Drs. Michael Reed and Jennifer, Toth, Jennifer Toth of Penn State Hershey Medical Center here with us today. So we're going to hear some stories tonight. And I understand that the women we're going to hear from tonight were not smokers. So talk to me about how often lung cancer does occur in people who are not smokers. Well, um, among women who get lung cancer, at least 20% have never smoked in their life. Wow. And if you take it even further, over two-thirds of women with lung cancer uh, aren't current smokers. They either quit years ago or, in fact, never smoked. That is a really, it's scary. I think it's very scary because maybe you think you're safe because either you quit smoking yeah or you haven't smoked at all, but you've right. maybe been around it. Other than smoking, though, there are significant other risk factors. What are they? There are, and radon is the number two, uh, it's the number one cause of lung cancer in non-smokers, um, num you know, and uh, also asbestos mm. exposure, and strong family history also, we know, has plays a role. Wow, so their genetics get you again. Huh? Yes. <laughs> so, much time, so much time is genetics. What about, you know, being that radon, environmental factors, genetics, can you, though, then lower your risk? Or, you know, are you kind of stuck? I mean, are there ways to lower your risk? Absolutely. Uh, so, of course, if a person is a smoker, quit. Um, or even better, never start smoking in the first place. Right. But uh, you should also have your home checked for radon levels. And if they're high, uh, have mitigation. And, in fact, Pennsylvania has particularly high levels of radon. And then, of course, uh, internationally, reducing uh, asbestos exposure and pollution. And secondhand smoke uh, is another form. You know, we had been chatting before the show and talking about how with lung cancer, often the symptoms come when the disease is pretty far progressed. But then you hear about screening for other kinds of cancers, like prostate cancer, breast cancer. Is there screening available for lung cancer? There is now. And it, it's been a long time in coming. Lung cancer kills more men and women than prostate, colon, and breast combined. Wow, wow. So after a large trial was done in 2011, we now screen high-risk patients who are age 55 to 77 and have a significant smoking history. Often with lung cancer, the prognosis isn't that good. Is it because it is so far advanced? Unfortunately, very often times it's advanced at the time of diagnosis, uh, which is one reason that screening, which can catch cancers early, offer a lot of hope for improved cure rates. Very good. So we have this special coming up at 7.30 tonight here on ABC 27. I mean, what can you say to encourage folks to tune in and watch that? Now these, are, these are some great people, great stories, and it, it really hits home for a lot. Um, given the prevalence of lung cancer and, and its horrible reputation. And I know that during that program, viewers will have the opportunity to call in, ask doctors different questions. Also, in advance, you can email us those questions. And you can see that email address there on the screen, questions at abc27.com. So right now, if you have questions for Penn State Hershey Medical Center doctors, you can do that right now, and perhaps your question will be featured tonight on the program. Thank you okay. both for sharing this knowledge with our viewers today and for being part of such an important special. Thanks Good for to having have us. you on the show.